Hello everyone, welcome back to this series on how to draw iconic faces. And before we start, of course, if you could subscribe, please, if you haven't already done that, that would be terrific, thank you. And also, ring the little bell icon if you want to know what's coming up next. Okay, well, the iconic face today is a very dramatic one, a Maori warrior. And I'm going to start with the top of the head and the hairstyle, which is kind of scraped back. The long hair is pulled back. So the top of the head would appear like that. And the hairline quite high. That kind of shape there. Almost like a scythe shape. See that coming down? Then it comes down to the ear, which curves like that. Before I do the forehead, uh, I'll, I'll do the kind of uh, top part here, which is a, uh, a bit of an extra decoration. What they do is they have a roll sometimes of hair at the back there, which comes in almost like a tube shape, like that. And stuck behind that, there's a big kind of comb shape. There's one shaped like that. Okay. The tines of the comb coming in there. And the hair, by the way, is all pulled by, but I'll be drawing that in later. All these lines will follow the way that the hair is scraped back over the skull like that, okay? Uh, carry on down to the forehead now. This line carries on down like that. And we have the eyes coming in just about the level of the ear here. One about here. Coming up, you know that? Slightly more curled at the bottom there. Slightly more angular at the top, and then the people of the eye coming in there. The highlight in the centre. Okay, now that eye comes in the bit on the nose here, which would come in about there. So we see the slightly foreshortened here. So you see the eyelid shape coming in there, the eyebrow going up, and the bottom of the eye coming in. Like that. See more of the curve of the eyeball there, with the people appearing in here, the iris and the highlight. Okay. Now to the nose now. It follows down from there, comes down, curves out slightly, fairly broad at the bottom here. You get the nose appearing in there, another one coming in. In there, again, there's a very broad side to the nose, too. Okay, and a bit of a line under the eye here. And the top of the eyebrow comes in about here, the dark shape, quite a high, quite a high eyebrow shape there, like that. Okay, down to the nose now, uh, rather to the mouth, you get the indentation along the top lip. Coming down, very full top lip, like that. The side foreshortened again. In the centre of the mouth come in, curving like that. And again, a very full bottom lip, like that. And the cheekbone appearing fairly flat, actually, not too pronounced, coming down like that. And behind the mouth here, going to Quite a bit chin. Coming up, sloping up. The bottom of the ear, which I'll put in here. In that shape there. And the curly lines inside the ear. <laughs> like that. And uh, a little hole for an earring. Coming in like that. And this earring is, first of all, you have kind of leather thongs attached to the quills of the feathers and then the feathers themselves, which I'll draw on properly in a minute. Just drawing in the basic shapes of them just now. Like that. Okay, and then the neck. And the covering cloak. Like that, and the back of the neck comes in about here, with the other shoulder appearing in there. Okay, so I'll just finish off this hairline neck from down here. 
Okay, I'm going to start off with the, uh, the decorations now, the tattoo marks. Okay, beginning with the tattoo marks, just under the hairline here, you have one come in like that, and a curve, and this kind of shape here, which I'm drawing, is quite common. It's kind of cutaway shape here. That curls in there. And gives you another cutaway. Like that. Now this goes down right down the centre of his forehead, stops there. Comes back up. I have another cutaway shape coming in. There, joining up to that. And in this space here we have another little shape doing that. Okay? Another side. You have the mirror image of that, that shape coming down there. And you have another bit, an extra bit actually, coming in there like that. And going up there. And then these stripes on the forehead, actually the lines of the tattoos follow the kind of shapes, the physical shapes of the head. So if you imagine the line starting just under here, going up, swirling right over the top of his forehead, following the line of his forehead around the hairline, coming around like that, and doubling that up so that line would be dark. Get that continuing right down, getting a bit thinner as it comes down there, right down to the curve and then stopping and coming and starting up another line which follows that shape there, okay? And you bring that back up, getting thinner as you come in here, down to there, then back out again to form another one. Continue right around there, and carry on. And as we come up, we have this little cutaway shape that I mentioned. Like that. Come up. And another little cutaway shape coming in there. And that curls under the eyebrow. And curls around and joins that. Okay, see that shape there? And the other one, of course, comes in from just about here. You might swirling down and creating those three shapes there. One, two, three. Like that. Okay. Right, the one on the top of the nose is a leaf shape here, which just goes under the eye, right here. Like that. Goes over the nose. Curve around. And you have a swirling shape in the centre. And these kind of shapes going down towards the point. And on the actual edge of the nostril itself, another big swelling shape there. Okay? And from this, you have other lines going over the cheekbone and carving around like that. Again, following the shape of the face, coming right up and around a great big whorl. The whorl shape is very common in these Maori designs. That goes back out. Just like that. And the outside. And then swoops back up again with another little cutout shape. Joining up to that whorl shape that I made there. You double that up, bring it round. And then like that to there and then go back out again and form the other stripe there. Okay? And in here you have a shape following that curve and down to there. And we have that little spiral shape again, the cutout shape coming up like that. One in the middle, another one there, another cutout shape there. 
Like that. Maybe triangle shape just below it. Okay, moving down from here now, we have other stripes going down following the jawline coming down here. First of all, we have one starting here, which is again that kind of cut out hook shape. It's curved down like that, the V point, and this pulls right down to just the jawline here, stops and back up again. Like that. Another one starts from here, follows that line, comes right around this time, curves right across to the bottom of the chin there, doubles up, comes back up again. Then another one, just below that, curves around following that line. This one comes and, oops, curls right around that shape back up, joining there. And then we go and move on to the upper lip itself. On the other side of this indentation here, you have a tattoo which comes down like that. Another one. And that curves around there. And then to the middle part of the lip, it goes down right down the front of his chin there, and doubles up as another one. And then you see the wee bit of that duplicate shape coming in there. Uh, on the lip too, there are some tattooing shapes, so you get that kind of line there. With a couple of lines coming underneath it, like that. And of course, on this side, we'll have the duplicate of that, you have that side coming there, appearing like that, and the stripes appearing just here and there. Uh, back down to here again we have triangular shape with a cutout shape in the middle, and then another horror shape starting from here, a big horror shape coming right round into the centre and back out again, like that. So there we have the pattern of the tattoos on the Murray's face. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a pen and I'll ink those over because I'm going to make this a pen and a pencil drawing. It's much more dynamic when you do that. Okay, I have a 0.8 pen now. I'm just going to go for my pencil lines. Let's see. Kind of toughen these up a bit like that, and then go over the roll of hair up here and go around basically around all of the pencil lines that I've drawn. Uh, and if what I'll do, of course, I'll put in the lines of the way the hair is being combed into a, a roll there, first of all, and then in here follow the lines of the way it's been combed and all of it scraped back like that. Um, as we come up to the top of the head of course changes direction slightly and starts to go that way. Okay so I'm going to continue doing that drawing out over all the pencil lines, and once I've done it, I'll catch up with you. Okay, before I do the tattoo marks, I want to do a bit of shading and get a bit of shape into the face. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the hair, and imagine the hair, this is curved over, so that this ridge here will be catching the light. So what you can do is, you can shade in this part here where it joins the forehead. Just nice and subtly shade fairly heavily and then lift the weight off as you come up towards an area about there. Okay, it's all the way around, like that. And then as you come up towards the middle area, take the weight off your pencil and make it slightly lighter. And then you're going to get a dark area coming up about here, but a bit of light catching the top. So this area here is going to be 
dog, and right around behind his ear here. Now I'm using a circular motion with the shading just now, but uh, what you can do, or what I will do in fact, when I get a darker pencil, I'll start to put in more of these kind of lines like that to follow the line of the hair. Okay, and I might even put a few more dark lines going up like that to get a sensation of some of these lines of hair being slightly further apart so there's a shading or shadow in between them. Okay, up here as well now. And in here, and up the side. And if I move down to the head now, um, you can imagine that, as I said before, I didn't uh, outline these with a pen because basically it's the shadow or the shading under his eyebrows. So I put those in with a pen because I want a nice soft feel over his eyelid there. Put a shading around that side of his eyelid. And I'll shading underneath. Like that. Okay. And also middle tone on the outside of the pupil there and very dark in the inside okay like that and a bit a bit more of a dark line over the top of his eye there like that shading up here too like that middle tone and then the dark part of the pupil there And a shading in here. And also, of course, being the nose, you'll have a bit of shading down the side of the nose. There's the front of the nose there, the ridge. So you get the kind of shading coming down there. And a bit of dark shading underneath the nose too. Into the nostril there, and around that part. And around the back of the nostril there. Okay, and up here, the light's mostly coming from this side. So along this side, shading all the way down. And the cheekbones are fairly flat, so you don't get too much of a shading underneath them. So I just bring the shading just down the side of the jaw like that. up to the ear very lightly and then a bit of darker shading over the top and in the inside shapes here and this bit in here there's a lot of dark shading and a bit underneath and very dark in there and of course underneath the chin too very nice deep shadow coming in here. Like that. Probably cover down to it there. Okay, uh, top lip too. Little shading on that and as it comes down to meet the bottom lip, it'll be a nice kind of dark shape where they meet there. And then on the bottom of the lip there. And a nice deep shadow underneath the bottom lip too. So you can see the, the form of the face now before I start to put on the pattern. Okay, let's get that, uh, that pen with the sharp tip there and we'll put in these dark shapes. Okay, I have a 70 now, so I've started to shade in the tattoo lines around like that, nice and heavily up to the edge of the pen line. See, the pen line almost disappears now. Another one coming in here. 
and so on. Oops, squeaky pens over here. <laughs> uh, right, I'll carry on and do that. And you can see the transformation when I finish, but that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to fill in all these lines that I've drawn. Right, I'm just finishing off the last tattoo mark here. And you can see by filling in those shapes, it's become really quite dramatic. Okay, uh, a bit more to do here, just a bit of dark shading in the, the feathers, some bits of the feather darker than others. A bit under here. And a bit under here where it curves around, away from the light. And under here. And a gap in there. Let's use your common sense. You know, we can imagine the light catching the tops of the feathers here, and also round about the, well, the strips of leather. Like that, okay. Uh, and as I said, I'm coming back up here again, and just to do a bit of drawing on the part of the hair which is in shadow here by shading along the line of the hair, making that a bit more dimensional like that and finally uh, just a little bit more dark shading under the chin here make the jaw stand out a bit more and down here and then just finish off and sketch the shade lines along there and the colouring that he's wearing the robe rubber cloak shade that in there's a shading in there. Excellent. So I hope you enjoyed that. And hope you can join me again for another tutorial. But of course, in the meantime, all the best and happy drawing.